Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Few days ago, one of my colleague asked me, if life is a test, then why does Allah put us in different levels in terms of our wealth, position, power, etc.? According to him, to execute a fair trial, everyone should be placed on similar platforms, like in an examination hall, where each student receives the same question paper. Then why some are made so much rich and some are extremely underprivileged, and then tested on the same earth? He's actually an accountant, and my response should comply with his language. I say to him, let me try to answer your question, first by pointing out to the equation and then eventually reaching out to the solution. The equation is that we must bear in mind that the time itself is a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He is the best in planning everything. So the things that are happening to us which are beyond our control or decision making are actually planned for us in the best possible way. Also that He is a Rahman and Rahim. So there is no chance of injustice that are expected to happen to us and in the way that we are tested. Now, let's consider the solution. I started with a simple analogy and told him, suppose in this company, if you are to be given with whatever you wish for, at the very first instance, you would want to be your manager. Similarly, your manager would want to be the vice president, and the vice president would want to be the CEO, and the CEO would want to be the director, and so on. At the end of the day, everyone would want to be placed at the topmost position, if this would happen, in your way to this office, you wouldn't find anyone to ride you in this office. And after you reach this office, there would be no one to serve you your tea or coffee or to help you in your job as everyone would sit in the topmost position and things can never work in that way. I skip mentioning that if every single person becomes rich and have the money, then there would be nobody to supply our food or even treat us when we get sick. Almost everyone in the room was shaking their head in an affirmative way, so I continued explaining the solution. If a small company can survive in this way, how can we expect this complex world to be designed in that manner where everyone is placed in a similar position? As I have already mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best in planning, all the things that were happening to us are actually custom tailored by the best planner, which fits exactly to our capacity characteristics, etc. Thus, we are individually tested based on our individual circumstances. I have also mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a Rahman ur Rahim. So, He is the most kind, caring and merciful towards us. And we should never doubt over the fairness and justice of His decisions. So, we are only made responsible for the decisions that we make based on the exact circumstances that we are placed in. And we will be judged individually as the situation will differ from person to person. So no injustice is done to us. I hope the explanation to have comforted his heart. And I am concluding my story mentioning three ayats from the Quran. In Surah Az-Zukhruf, Ayat 32, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that he has distributed the provisions for our livelihood and ranked us in this world so that we can make use of one another in our service. In Surah Al-Hujrat, Ayat 13, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us, The most noble among us in the sight of Allah is the most righteous among us, not the wealthy or the dominants. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayat 286, it is mentioned that Allah does not burden anyone beyond his capacity, and that we will gain or bear the consequences of the good and the evil that we do. What is your opinion? Let us know in the comment section below and if you like this video just hit to the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.